So they rolled out today. We were uh, started off in uh, Zur Torenbosch. Seems a long time ago, Sean. Yes, it, uh, it sure does. And uh, you know, it's been uh, it's been one of these days where it's uh, you know. Uh, very, very fast racing. When you look at the average they were doing right through the day, they were going at a very strong pace all day. But when you have a breakaway like that, it feels that it goes on and on. But uh, it's a day where, you know, the lot of the riders will be happy that they've got to the end of this uh, stage, rest up for tomorrow because it's going to be another uh, difficult one. Well, we had our breakaway of five riders. Uh, uh, the chase being engaged was... I mean, how do they choose who to sacrifice? That's that's the big question. And uh, you needed all hands on the pumps a little bit uh, later on, I can tell you. Um, it did start to thin down uh, the gap, and then they pushed on again, Sean, after almost being caught, just a handful of seconds. And, of course, uh, looming large was a King of the Mountains battle to be had. Yes, and as we see, it was uh, what a battle uh, they had there between the uh, breakaway riders. You know, starting a long ways out from the uh, the counting point for the King of the Mountains, and also to find the actual point where the uh, points were being given, uh, they had to think uh, maybe two or three sprints. Uh, so it was a real difficult one. We see after the effects it had on the riders uh, when they got uh, eventually to the point where they were given you know, the two and one points. That's all it was with the Category uh, 4 test. Uh, the two points going to Vandenberg and the one point to Gernayak who'd started that move. Um, the effect was that Asperin, I'm afraid, was uh, was hampered just a little bit. Um, they were finally caught with 58 kilometres to go. And then we had another from Uskaltel who pushed on, Luis Angel Mate. His declared aim is that every kilometre he spends in the break, he will plant a tree in an area that's been scorched by wildfires. Well, we were kicking up a storm as well as we started to approach town back to Utrecht, our, uh, the venue uh, that we'd had for our team time trial. A little bit of shoulderage going on. Uh, as you can see, Tim Malia and, uh, uh, and Dan McClay leaning upon each other. Um, it was opening up out there. Sam Bennett had the near perfect lead out from Danny Van Poppel. Spectacularly so. Others had to go the long way round, and ultimately there was no room for them to come and play the game. Sam Bennett's crossing the line first ahead of uh, Mads Pedersen, also in the frame, uh, was uh, Tim Malia. Mike Turnison of Jumbo Visma, a crossing the line in fourth place, and um, uh, offering himself up, I believe, the uh, leader's jersey now. Um, Pascal Ackerman, a very strong finish by him too. He finished in fifth place ahead of uh, Dan McClay. Uh, Einhorn, also there, the Israeli champion. Jake Stewart, likewise. John Dagan Colbury finding his legs after difficulties in the team time trial. And Caden Groves from Bike Exchange rounding out the top ten. Sam the man, Bennett wins.